That's a tiny baby. This is not good, little baby. Not a good thing. Hey, hey, it's your girl Andrea. Um, oh, you see my messy house in the background. But my mom just texted me. We just had a cow calf, and it's a big cow, and like a 35 pound calf, she said. And she thinks there's twins coming. And of course, it's cold, kind of windy. It actually uh, <laughs> had like freeze warnings for the weekend. It was really cold this morning. So, this is why we don't plant this early. <laughs> up here in the northern area because it's supposed to be like 20 degrees the next couple of nights. I decided I wanted a vest brand new from Am. Um, NDE. We all know that we love our mixer, right? They also sent me a vest and some hoodies and it's kind of oversized so it's perfect when it's cold. I can shove stuff in it so shout out to NDE for, you know, hitting up me and dad. Dad got new stuff. He was pretty excited about that. <laughs> he actually has been saving it for good. So there's that, but it's windy, of course. I did tag four calves this morning. So they have kind of continued to trickle in. And this is the second cow that has calved since chores. So they're working on it, which is good and exciting. And I love that. Dad is moving bales, um, getting a bunch of that done so we can plant. Hi, Dad. Moving bales. That's a tiny baby. Tiny. So we are going to move her into the barn, check for twins, and help this baby out. Because we're cold. Uh, baby is definitely early, so I'm gonna check the twins just in case. But I think my mother just calved early. We'll see. Tiny. Good girl. We do not have twins. We're just early. So we'll see. Not a good, good thing. Not a good thing. Our mama. I know she wants a baby. This is not good, little baby. Yeah, we don't see. And we don't have teeth. So, that's not good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now you're kind of holding your head, okay? We're gonna give her some dex, dexamethasone, which is a steroid. That bad lady yeah, but we like those eyes are so cloudy right now. We'll see. Look at you! I'm trying. All right, so baby's sitting up kind of nice. Still not looking good, but I'm gonna get some colostrum from her since she's got a nice bag. See if we want to get something in her belly. Give us a chance. You only have one that works, Miss Ma'am. All right, I can only get milk out of two teats. So, all right, we're trying the caffeine trick. We just gave her this nice little energy shot. She's very bright-eyed. We'll see. Can you see? Kind of? Close? I don't know. Let's go, little baby! I'm standing. Kind of. Getting some help. This is why they're called heartbreaker calves when they're small and little, because they like... <laughs> do well and then they don't, so we'll see. Oh, wow! What my no- oh, oh, oh. No help. Get it, girl. Oh my goodness. You standing. Come on. 
Move him just a little, suckle. Come on. You'll have to swallow that. <laughs> what the heck is that? Just learning what this is. <laughs> Put it in your mouth. Do, 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 do. Put it in your mouth. drank like that much. In addition to this one, we have a calf that I mentioned in the last video. Mom has not much milk at all. Mass said it's not good. Um, he's not doing so hot right now, so we're trying, but apparently this is uh, the rough week. We're gonna bring the other one in here tonight because it's supposed to be like 25, 26 degrees and yep, it's just cold. Supposed to get Yeah. He born. It's probably maybe like 90 now. Yep. Wow. I'm guessing we're about 35. <laughs> yeah, we're little. We just a little guy. Got some milk in. I'm going to try a little bit more and then we'll quit for now. Okay, so we probably got like an eighth of a bottle in, plus a little bit I got in her earlier. This is one I tubed this morning. And yeah. I don't know if she can truly see yet, but she responds a little bit, so we'll see. But, I don't know. She's up. She's tiny. She's cute. We are also dealing with some not so exciting sickness running through all these babies in here, too. So I've treated a handful, just keeping an eye on everybody. Let's see what we got going on. <sighs> okay, so preemie calves are heartbreaker calves because you think they're not gonna make it past a little bit and then they can thrive and generally at some point randomly they crash so we're gonna cross our fingers she drank a little bit doesn't have her teeth up yet at all her feet um, her toes are super super soft so that soft tissue or that layer I don't remember what it's called um, when the hooves are in the birth canal so it doesn't cut their mom she has that but it's very thick so it's like half of her hoof so when she does get up it just kind of like squishes it in the ground and kind of rips off a little bit and shreds so she's early um she was preg checked at about 60 days when we preg checked so that's pretty dang accurate to be honest when you're preg checking at that point um versus like the three to four there's kind of a transition that you're guessing just based on size so I thought she'd have a twin, did not. Just a very small preemie baby that I, mom and I are like 35 pounds tops. She's very small. Keep you posted in the morning on how they are both doing. Good morning. I'm tired. Um, last night, noon, I talked to mom last night, Little Miss. Little Miss Preemie drank like an eighth of a bottle and she actually kind of suckled mom said. And then after that, it was the same story with her tongue with stuff you saw yesterday. So, that's promising. Also, still trying not to get my hopes up. Um, the other calf that looked like absolute crap, unfortunately, passed away. So, I don't know if his mom, like the milk made him sick and then we just couldn't get him out of it. I don't know. Um, sucks, but that is it's just part of it. Woo! It's chilly this morning. We did freeze last night. A little freeze warning. So, those dum-dums that planted some beans and corn early ahead of the insurance date are probably regretting their decisions. We'll see. We'll find out. Tract is warming up. Get out of there, you little ding dong. Gosh. Gotta clean it again. Ugh. 304 has been nothing but a pain in the butt. Hi, girls. Trying to get up. Mom said she drank again at five. Stretch. <laughs> Oh man. Nessa, is that a new friend? Go, girl, go. Hey, Gross. Bestie girl. 
Checking everybody over. This is the calf we've been treating for scours. He does look better this morning. I'll probably have to give him some more electrolytes today as well. They all got some stuff running through out here in this pen, but the weather's also kind of been not great, so. <laughs> Most of them are doing okay. We're just kind of keeping an eye on them and treating if we need to, but. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She was, that's that twin that was really sick the other day. She's looking better. That one's gotten some. Those three are looking good. That's a calf of scours. Most of you are looking pretty dang good. She's hungry again. It's only been 40 minutes, but this is gonna be the thing as she's so tiny. She has to be fed more often. But it does help that she nurses now and like suckles, so that's huge. She's pooping everywhere and peeing everywhere. I guess mom had a mess to clean up last night. But this is why they're heartbreaker cows because if something happens, I'm like, oh, she's just so cute. And I know I'm going to be attached to her. I'm just going to suck. But we'll keep, uh, we'll keep trying. We were at the one pint line. So that's about how much she drinks at a time. Like an eighth of a bottle, <laughs> half a pint. But better than nothing. Nessa's like, I'll clean your face with the milk. <laughs> That's a new baby. I think it's only the one. But there's not a lot of left to cab in here anymore, actually. <laughs> We're out feeding the last group of cows and bulls. And there's a calf out, so dad got some footage of us trying to get a stupid calf to go back in the bucket. He didn't want us, so when we went through the bullpen, it was great. And the next thing I know, I look up, dad's in the tractor. His little phone out. <laughs> okay, so we went to the vet clinic. Got everything else I needed for the beginning of AIing to start in a couple weeks. And, 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 789. The cow that I had to cut the stitch out of for her calf to come arrive, she prolapsed like two weeks, three weeks after we preg checked last fall. Oh, we were good. Her calf's like six, seven weeks old. She prolapsed again. Just a little. She's just got a cervical prolapse, so there's like this much hanging out. Um, so at some point, the vet'll come today. Got to stitch her up, and then she's just gonna raise a baby, and then she's peace out, home slice, going to McDonald's type of situation. So. Ness and I are going to go home and make some sourdough, briefly, since I have that made, and then we'll see what other chaos happens today. We just got that prolapse taken care of, hence why they're crying, because we took a cow out, put her back in. She's definitely, 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 definitely on the cold list, because there's no reason she's a prolapse now of all times. So, whatever, but we did have a new calf, um, and the mom dropped him on his head, so going to go and make sure that he's doing okay after a not so great entrance into the world. Hi mama. Good girl. <laughs> oh hey. You peed. Again. <laughs> I don't know if we can see anything yet, but I hear something. You know what I hear? The auger in the bin's running. You know what that means? Apparently we're grinding corn again, whether it's tonight or tomorrow. <laughs> Hopefully that goes there. I may be doing well back here and a bunch of mucus hanging off of that one and the one back there. Soon, have lots of babies back here. You're getting close too. I only had a few cows that actually preg checked like shorter. One of them was the one that had the early calf. That's another one that was like 40 days. The rest of them were like two and a half, so we should be getting with it pretty soon. Hallelujah! If you watched my last video, this thing made me want to just, ugh. Good news, ground corn successfully this time. <laughs> okay, per the questions, if you did win the lottery, like you said the other day when the bolt lined up, but the bolt really wasn't, what would you do? 
probably what I'd really want to do. I better not see it. <laughs> oh my god. I don't think I want to know. Well, you'd probably see a monster car collection. Oh, yeah. NASCAR team. Oh lord. It'd be gone within 18 months. Oh my god. Not even smart. Oh no. Huh? Probably save it and never spend it. You'd probably pay off your stuff at least. But first I gotta play, pay the lottery. Play the lotteries. Yeah, yeah. Everyone was just asking, so I figured I'd ask you. <laughs> and I got here. He was grinding corn, like I said, and I was nervous. I didn't say anything. Didn't record. And it went fine. Now he's ready for planting. Yeah, apparently. That needed to be replaced. That bolt was so bad. It just should have been easier, so. Whatever. All right, little miss. She's looking good right now. Like I said, primi calves. Troublemakers, but right now, she's a fighter. She wants to. She has probably drank two thirds of a bottle today so far, and it's six o'clock. Mom's gonna feed her again tonight. She has the other bottle babies at 7.38, and then she'll feed her again right before she goes to bed, and then whatever. She kind of lets you know when she's hungry. So I'll keep you posted. As always, we keep it real and raw here, so I will keep you posted no matter what the outcome is. We gave electrolytes to that calf that has scours again. Um, it just sucks because he's an old calf, like older. So at that point, a lot of these scours, like antibiotics, meds, don't touch them. It's just more of therapeutic type stuff to get him through it. Fluids pain meds, some gut stuff, some Pepto-Bismol. We'll see, but we uh, let his mom in the shed because he doesn't want to go out to her, but we let her in. That way she can at least be happy with her baby because she's just screaming at him. So I'll keep you posted on all of it, but make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.